The coronavirus impact is also hitting small businesses across the tri-state. WCPO 9 News reporter Jasmine Miller is speaking with small business owners on how they're getting creative to keep the money flowing. Well, in the state of Ohio, nearly 100% of businesses are owned by small business owners. That's according to the U.S. Small Business Administration. And Cincinnati has always been a community that's been known for supporting entrepreneurs. And that support is now key as the coronavirus is hitting hard from clothing stores to fitness training. Her classes are packed every week. People are still scrambling trying to figure it out. Almost every woman, every man for themselves at this point. But now it's going to be pretty quiet as she pulls out the sanitizer, the wipes, and all things that clean. The bulk of my business is at a standstill. Small business owner and personal fitness trainer Denise Breyer says the Woodlawn Recreation Center is where she hosts the majority of her boot camp Cincinnati classes. They'll be closing for three weeks. Most of my business comes from my 5 a.m., 6 a.m. class. Which means that's about the 200, about 220, 225 people. All gone out of the nearly 250 clients she has. Well, it's not just the booming businesses that are being impacted, but also the ones that are growing. We are already going to have Clorox wipes, but we definitely have Clorox wipes. You might recognize her Cincinnati famous t-shirts. Our in-person sales were like skyrocketing. So, you know, when we're at different events like the Flying Pig, the Taste Cincinnati. That's what led to this, a brand new storefront in Woodburn. Keisha Azabui, owner of Originality, says with those big events now canceled. Another couple t-shirts, not even available on our website yet. It's slowing down her grand opening too. I have a job on the side. However, you know, we do have to pay rent. Now both women are having to get creative using the internet. We'll have more of an emphasis on the online business. Virtual training, considered writing up workouts for my clients. And keep the faith, the coronavirus will settle down soon. Just be patient, that's all we can do. Well, both small business owners tell me they don't have any fears about contracting the virus, but they still have no idea how things are gonna shake up both financially and economically over the next month. Still, they say they're paying attention very closely to see if they have to make any more changes. I'm in Woodburn, Jazza Miner, WCPO 9 News.